give away, give way, give out, and give in from EspressoEnglish.net. Hi students, it's Shana, your teacher from EspressoEnglish.net. And in today's lesson, I'm going to answer a question from a student who asked, what's the difference between give away and give way? They're very similar, but they have different meanings and they're used in different situations. And I'm going to add two more phrasal verbs, give out and give in, which can be confusing. If you'd like to learn more phrasal verbs, which are so common in everyday spoken English, check out my Phrasal Verbs in Conversation course. You can click on the link in this video or in the video description for more information about that. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson on give away, give way, give out, and give in. Give away means to give something for free. For example, if you don't wear those clothes anymore, you should give them away meaning donate them, give them to someone else for free. Here's another example. The radio station is giving away two tickets to a rock concert, meaning they are giving the tickets for free to two people. There's also another way we use give away, meaning to reveal a secret or expose hidden knowledge. For example, I don't want to tell you too much about the movie because I don't want to give away the ending. When we use give away in this sense to reveal a secret, it's usually in this context when talking about not giving away some details about a movie that someone hasn't seen or a book someone hasn't read because we don't want to ruin the experience for them. Give way means when a physical structure collapses under too much weight. For example, when I tried to cross the old wooden bridge, the boards gave way and I fell into the river. This means the bridge collapsed, it fell down, the boards broke under my weight, and as a result, I fell into the river. Give way can also be used for withdrawing, yielding, or retreating, meaning to go away and open space for something else. Sometimes in the weather forecast you might hear a sentence like this. This weekend the clouds will give way to sunshine. That means the clouds will go away and allow the sun to appear. Here's another example. The opposition to the law gave way to overwhelming popular support, meaning there were some people who were against the law, but they went away, they retreated, because the majority of the people supported the law. Give out means to distribute. For example, the teacher gave out the worksheets on Friday, meaning the teacher distributed the worksheets to the students. The store is giving out coupons for 10% off, again referring to distribution. Now, could you say the store is giving away coupons for 10% off? Yes, it's possible. In some contexts, you could use either give away or give out. The difference is that give away puts more emphasis on the free aspect, and give out puts more emphasis on distribution to many people. Sometimes, give out can also be used to mean to fail or stop functioning. For example, he was an old man and his heart eventually gave out, meaning his heart stopped functioning and, as a result, he died. We were stranded in the middle of the lake when the motor of our boat gave out, meaning it failed, it stopped functioning. When we use give out in this sense, we're usually talking about a machine or sometimes an internal organ, like a heart or a liver, which is essential to survival. What about give in? Give in means to yield to social pressure, meaning someone tries to convince you for a long time and finally you accept it or agree to do it. For example, the kids asked their mother for ice cream over and over and she finally gave in. Over and over means repeatedly and she finally gave in means she finally agreed to buy the ice cream. Here's another example. If your friends pressure you to try drugs, don't give in, meaning don't agree to do it based on the pressure. So let's review. 
Give away primarily means to give something for free, but it can also mean to reveal a secret, especially in the case of revealing details about movies or books. Give way is most commonly used when a physical structure collapses, but it can also sometimes be used for withdrawing, yielding, or retreating to open space for something or someone else. Give out primarily means to distribute to many people and in a few cases it can also mean to stop functioning. And give in means to agree to do something after someone has been pressuring you. Let's see if you can use these phrasal verbs in your own sentences. Post a comment and try to use give away, give way, give out, and give in. And if you'd like to learn more than 500 common phrasal verbs, check out my course, Phrasal Verbs in Conversation. It will help you learn phrasal verbs in context so you can remember them better and use them yourself in your own English. Click on the link in the video for more information about the Phrasal Verbs in Conversation course.